and the UFC returns to the Steel City on September 16th. So too will former 185 pound champion, Luke Rockhold. I mean, that was just complete, total domination. Revitalized from injury hiatus, the man who's never been to decision in the UFC. It is all over! Luke Rockhold! Is ready for anyone willing to challenge him inside the octagon he once ruled. I know I'm the best in this game. I just take on whoever will fight me. In this case, it's Branch. Enter Brooklyn's David Branch, a middleweight and light heavyweight champion outside of the UFC, ready to build upon his 11-fight win streak against the very best in the world. I want to make people scared. I want to put the fear of God in people, you know? I'm not playing. That is it. David Branch has done it. When I go inside that cage, I'm trying to hurt you. Able to put Okami down. Can he finish him? But he does. The UFC's middleweight division is more stacked than ever before. While champion Michael Bisping readies to welcome back all-time great George St. Pierre, interim champ Robert Whittaker waits in the wings. And with former champions like Rockhold ready to recapture UFC gold, multi-division title holders like Branch have entered the fray, gunning the same prize. Fatigue makes cowards of men. Enter the lives and training camps of these former champions as they prepare to rise the ranks in Pittsburgh. This is real, this is happening. You know, this is gonna be live. We're gonna fight, we're gonna fist fight, man. It's the countdown to somebody getting hurt. September 16th, Fox Sports 1. You better tune in. The Empire State boasts a rich history in combat. From championship boxing matches to the violent city streets. This gritty culture of fighting permeated New York before mixed martial arts existed at the professional level. And one such fighter forged in this time period was UFC middleweight David Branch. Man, I grew up in the crack epidemic, man. So like, you know, it was real messed up in the 80s, New York City. And I always liked to fight. Uh, I fought a lot as a kid. You know, I didn't, I wasn't trained or anything like that, but I just knew it made me feel good. It made me understand things about myself. I was coming home from an odd job in the Bronx one day. I was living in my brother's apartment. I stopped at a store. It was like a, a drug addict guy in there. They was selling like a, a bunch of VHS tapes. One of them was a UFC 3 tape. And I'm just sitting there watching this tape and I see Hoist Gracie like strangling all these people. I was like, man, I looked at my brother. I was like, I'm doing it. And about six years later, I was in the octagon. A prodigy of the great Henzo Gracie, Dave Branch, is set to make his long-awaited UFC debut. Although Branch first entered the UFC an unbeaten prospect in 2010. Oh, that was nice. A knee and a punch by Branch. The sport's biggest stage proved to be too much too soon. This and he was released after four fights. They didn't need somebody who was trying to find their way on the job. I needed to go out and get the experience like I should have in the first place. Following his departure from the UFC, Branch developed his skill set with each fight. And new middleweight champion of the world. And eventually captured titles in multiple weight divisions. Davis Branch is your light heavyweight champion. I wasn't the only one to get two belts in two different weight classes, but I was the only one ever to defend both of them, ever. Oh, no. Branch able to put Okami down. Can he finish him? He does. Had a little chip on my shoulder, you know, because I wasn't getting the recognition that I thought that I deserved. That's it. That is it. David Branch has done it. I had always remembered what it felt like being in the UFC. And still. 35 years old, out of the UFC since 2011. This is an entirely different animal as he makes the return tonight. After a remarkable campaign outside of the UFC, Branch vacated his titles and returned in May of this year. Early take, that's a good sign for Branch. Extending his win streak to an impressive 11 straight. Whoa! Now on the doorstep of a middleweight title shot, 
He plans to replicate the accomplishments from his time away and capture a championship belt in the biggest promotion the world has ever known. I want to be the top dog because I know what it feels like already. I've never had my titles taken away from me. I gave them away so that I can go chase this one. The next challenger for Branch is an imposing former UFC title holder, but laser focus on returning to championship form. It's been more than 15 months since Luke Rockhold's last fight. Sidelined by a knee injury, the California native is now training in South Florida. A warm welcome back to the fighting lifestyle he enjoys most. I think the time off was well spent. I was training almost all the time working around my injuries, uh, working on different things, and so kept myself busy. I enjoyed my time off, but at the same time, I'm ready to come back. Before the unexpected hiatus, Rockhold spent his career terrorizing top middleweights. And the new Strikeforce middleweight world champion. He reigned as Strikeforce champion before entering the UFC. Where he dispatch veterans with ease. Oh, liver kick! I've outstruck some of the best strikers and I've outgrappled the best grapplers. He's ready to tap. It is all over! Luke Rockhold! I can beat you anywhere. Rockhold is also the last man to defeat current champion Michael Bisping when they first fought in Australia in 2014. Oh, beautiful. Oh, and a head kick. Bisping's down. Big head kick. Luke Rockhold with a one arm mountain guillotine. The streak continued in a Fox showcase against former light heavyweight champion Lyoto Machida. Oh! Luke Rockhold is battering Lyoto Machida here. He's tapping. That's it. Luke Rockhold finishes Lyoto Machida. In December of 2015, good straight left by Rockhold. He added the UFC world title to his impressive resume. Big ground and pound on Weidman. Oh. Herb Dean all over the action. Weidman is absolutely getting destroyed here. By becoming the first man to defeat then champion Chris Weidman. Rockhold continuing to punish Weidman. That's it. It That's is it. all over. Champion. Luke Rockhold is the new UFC middleweight champion of the world. Wow. But his last out, the rematch with rival Michael Bisping at UFC 199 last summer. Oh, he heard him did not go as expected. And he enters this next fight without the UFC belt. Obviously, I'm not happy about how my last fight went, and, and I'm ready to, to come back and right that wrong. First, we take down David Brands. Let me take back the game. UFC middleweight David Branch grew up in the Bronx before an adolescence filled with misconduct forced him to see more of the Big Apple than he ever thought possible. They call it the uh, Juvenile Correctional Center. I was in places like this in 95, 96, 97. Like, this is where they send kids that make the wrong choices, and you, when you get locked up, you end up going here. Us that have been in places like this, this is my message of like, you know, just stay positive no matter how hard it is. Even if you're in a low income area and your grandmom was on drugs or mom is on drugs, father's on drugs, father's not in the house, there's still a way, you know? You don't gotta go out there and hustle on the corner and end up in a place like this. One error, you can end up back in the same situation. So it gives me a very realistic reality about life and it makes me humble as hell. Bouncing back from a life of recurring incarceration, Branch would remain in Brownsville, Brooklyn, working odd jobs in construction while learning how to fight. This region was not only home to boxing legend Mike Tyson, but has also long held one of the highest crime rates of any New York City neighborhood. Under here, used to just be prostitutes and stuff like that, crack. That, used, that, that was like a crazy house or like a halfway house. There used to be a on a wheelchair, and he just rides up and down the streets right here. And you can't really say nothing to him because he's always strapped. 
Like the cars don't, the cars don't like tell him to get the f out the way or nothing like that. He's just pissed off, you know what I mean? I think he would do it on purpose just so he could pull out on people, you know? Hey, get out the street. He'd be like, what? You don't want to, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Street kings end up dead on wheelchairs, man. That's what happens. Oh, Rich. What's going on, man? Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, man, I'm good, oh, man. man. This is my landlord right here. So he used to let me stay here rent free for a couple of months just until I got my fight money together and then I would pay him. How many times we went through that, Rich? I didn't so count. many times. More than more, more than I can Good count on, on two hands. I've had tenants leave here owing me a bundle. <laughs> yeah. This guy man. stayed good all oh, the whole time. He stayed good. David, <laughs> we're talking about those tickets you promised. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> Brownsville right. bully. That's it. That's the Brownsville bully. Brownsville bully. <laughs> That's the Brownsville bully right there. When's the next fight? When is it? September 16th right. in Pittsburgh. Right. That's what I'm talking about. Mm, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this kid in real bad. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna do him. I'm gonna do him ugly. Brownsville style. Yeah. All right, take care. I love y'all. <laughs> Branch's September 16th opponent, Luke Rockhold, reached the top of the MMA world, training at the American Kickboxing Academy in San Jose, California with teammates who have also won UFC gold, Cain Velasquez and Daniel Cormier. But the current landscape at AKA has changed. And Rockhold looked to train elsewhere for this fight. AKA will always be my home. Um, it just depends on, on how the guys are doing there. Right now, everyone's inactive or, or injured. For this camp, Rockhold is training at the brand new Hard Knocks 365 facility in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, led by Dutch kickboxing champion, Henry Hooft, who took notice of Rockhold's incredible talent when he cornered against him in his UFC debut. The power of the After the fight, I said to Luke, uh, at that moment, you're gonna be champ one day, you have all the qualities. From then on, I just started like watching his stuff, and uh, and he was always watching me. We just have a good connection. He's easy to train. I like the gym where he comes from, AKA. A very good team with very good fighters. Uh, kind of similar to us. We like to spar hard. Let's go, man. Hit somebody in the stomach. Liver, kidneys, I don't care where. Just put somebody down. Put somebody on his ass, man. We're sparring. Come on. It's not kindergarten. Here we go. That's it, Luke. Hands are up all the time. That's better, yeah. Here in Florida, it's like a, it's a fighting state. Nice, nice, nice. There's so many guys flooding in from everywhere. Um, you got great kickboxers, you got good jujitsu guys. Um, a lot of big guys, too. It's always great to have another fighter on that level. You know, his game, the way he moves, the way he kicks. It's always good to learn from someone like that. He just adds to the, what we have going on here. He's a pleasure to work with. Such a phenomenal athlete, such a phenomenal fighter. Here we go, center, everything's working! And we show up to Pittsburgh, and we're gonna show up to fight. And that's just what it comes down to. Thank you, says now you need to finish this fight. When Rockhold faces David Branch in Pittsburgh on September 16th, he aims to pick up right where he left off. Finish the fight, finish it! And work towards recapturing his middleweight belt. Mentally, physically, I feel like I'm in my prime, and it's time, it's long overdue. I'm ready to come back and do what I gotta do. Former middleweight champion Luke Rockhold has been focused entirely on recapturing his belt since losing it in June of 2016. Coffee, it's the most important part of the day. But a 50% tear to the ACL in his left knee sustained in training, unexpectedly prolonged his absence. The key to the coffee game is you gotta get the barista style on the milk. Game changer, promise you that. It's been tough, obviously ACL injuries are, are never good. Uh, I've never really experienced anything on that level, and it was a tricky one to work around. 
I could do a lot of things, but every time I would kick, I felt like my knee was gonna fall apart. I can't go into fights consciously without kicking. I waited and I got the stem cells and I did the treatments and I took the time off and I healed up. We have a top 10 opponent. I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna put my left leg through this guy's head and go home to California. Let's just sit it down. Let's take a nice lateral walk. I think in this game, everyone operates differently. Everyone was raised differently. Um, I wasn't raised in a gym. I was raised in an outdoors community. We live life and we go to the beach. It's tough to be in a gym every day and, and to keep your focus and, and to really absorb new information and learn. Two feet each hole, quick steps. Let's go right foot lead. We're just gonna go straight through the middle. It's extremely motivating to be able to get the guys out of the gym and in a different scene. Let's go icky shuffle. We're still getting all of the work that we want, but changing the environment up. And I think these athletes push a little bit harder. All right, we're gonna go on this line. What I wanna do is work short bursts for the first one. I wanna work six short bursts. Set, go. I think this layoff has been huge for him. I think you can see how much he wants to get back in there. Luke's a guy that has a lot of goals, obviously, to get that title back. And this is just one step for him to do so. I've always taken my time away from the cage and come back better. This is no different. He is the best 185 pound fighter out there. He has all the ability to finish this fight, and I'd love to see him do it. For New York native David Branch, who readies for a main event bout with Luke Rockhold, his new jiu-jitsu academy in nearby New Jersey allows him to mold aspiring fighters and also serves as a private training facility when class is not in session. Today is uh, something called Shark Tank. It's uh, one of the things that we started implementing when I fought into the championship rounds and even before championship rounds in, my, in the last organization I was in. It's just a repetitive cycle of takedowns, uh, defending takedowns. I'm feeling it. I'm not one for doing a whole lot of talking, you know? I want to be a light to a lot of the younger fighters, and fighters respect action. Anybody out there who wants to be a fighter and wants to be a champion, it's going to be extremely painful. You're going to lose some teeth. You're going to get plenty of black eyes. You're gonna be uncomfortable. You're gonna be hungry. You know what I mean? It's a lot of things that you're gonna have to go through. And I've embraced all of those things. That's how you do it. You know, a lot of wanna fight, but you don't wanna put the work in. There ain't no shortcut. You gotta do it and you gotta love it because it hurt. Fatigue makes cowards of men. UFC Fight Night in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania is set for September 16th. But for its headlining former UFC champion, the fight is already underway. You know, a lot of fights go the way you see them. If you visualize them right, if you focus right, if you analyze right, you can, you can pretty much see the endings. When I'm patient and I wait for my opportunities, uh, everything kind of slows down in there and I see what's going on before it happens. As Rockhold stays focused on a dominant performance in his return, over 1,000 miles to the north, his opponent maintains a similar mindset. I think about this every day. This guy's gonna bring it. And I like to fight aggressive guys because I make them make a lot of mistakes. You know, I like to use that aggression against people. And when I get in there, I'm gonna be ready for him. Few men were willing to step up and face Rockhold. The branch never sees himself as the underdog. I know that I'm a beast. He's not gonna take me down. He's not gonna out-wrestle me. Pick your, pick your heel up and pick the kick up more. So he's gonna have to deal with it. If I choose to stay up on the feet, that's where it's gonna be for the whole duration until somebody goes down. It's gonna be him. I'm not gonna go down. I'm up here. Sorry, your head. 
For a guy like David Branch to say that he thinks he can dictate the pace is a joke. He's as good as he's ever been, and he is in his prime right now. No one has ever dictated the pace in any of my fights but myself. Oh, right hook. He hurt him. Swarming on Weidman. Look at this. Look at that takedown. Incredible. He can't box, and he doesn't have a chin. I can box, and I hit really hard. Branch able to put him coming down. Can he finish him, and he does Ground and pound on Weidman. Oh, that's it. That's it. We got a new champion. The cage door locks. It's it's time to show up, and I know that I always show up. I haven't lost in five years. David Branch worked long and hard to get back to the UFC. I'm not done yet because I want to get my hands on this middleweight strap. When training comes to a close, multiple-time title holders David Branch. David Branch has done it. Luke Rockhold. Hard shots by Rockhold. Will test their championship medal inside the octagon. Oh, we heard him. The loser takes one step back, and the winner takes one giant step forward. 30 seconds, that's why you got strong. Towards a UFC belt. September 16th, Pittsburgh, PA. You're gonna see a man get sent back to Brooklyn. Vegas has now you need to finish this fight. Sink or swim, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna be ready for what he brings to the table, and I'm gonna finish this kid. Ah! <laughs>